So hello everybody, it is Friday and it is time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every Friday. Okay, so with that said, in today's video we're going to review a new DAX function called distinct count no blanks that actually does not work in one scenario and I'll show you. So first of all, Microsoft documentation, it says uh, here distinct count no blank, it counts the number of distinct values in a column. And you have to actually scroll down a little bit to actually see that it doesn't count blanks. And that is the difference between distinct count no blank and distinct count. They should have put it up here, small thing, but hey, the name gives it away, right? So it's not so difficult to guess what that thing does. Anyhow, syntax, you just have the function name and then you put a column. No measure, column, okay? So let's go into Power BI and check this thing out. I have actually created a table just for this so you can actually see what's going on, okay? I want to make sure that you, you see it. So we have a column with letters, a column with numbers, and then I have an index. And the index is there so we can actually see the values that are blank. Otherwise, they disappear. Perhaps I should do a video about blanks in Power BI. Let me know in the comment box if you're interested. But this is what happens. If I put here letters, it'll show the four letters that we have. And because we have two blanks, it will show only one. It doesn't show both. If I put numbers, <laughs> it will hide some of the letters where there were blanks on the numbers and then it will show the numbers. And to be able to show everything, you have to put the index and then you have to go in here, uh, da, 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 show items with no data, okay? And now we can see the actual entire table, otherwise things are hiding. Again, let me know if you want to have a video on why and how that happens and I'll do it in the future, okay? Okay, let's focus on count. Let's start counting things. I feel like, a, you know, we're back in school, count. So first of all, distinct count with blanks. For that, we need to use distinct count. I don't know if you knew that distinct count count blanks, but in case you didn't know. So here it is, uh, we're going to start with the letters. And we put it in here, we put it as a card, and you can see that it gives us five. And let's count. So in the letters column, we have A, B, C, and F, and then we have two blank values. And because this is distinct count, it counts only one, one time, okay? So that's why we have five. One blank and one A, one B, one C, one F. Easy busy. Okay, let's continue. Now, we're going to count without blanks so distinct count without blanks and for that you use the new distinct count no blank again we're going to count letters first put it in there put it in here as a card and it says five what okay if we go in here it should be a b c f and it should not count the blank. So it should be four, not five. So this is wrong. Distinct count no blanks does not work for text. Okay, so be aware of that. Now, let's count numbers. So we go in here. Let's count distinct count with blanks numbers. Distinct count. We're going to put the numbers instead, and the number of stuff in here. So the count of numbers with blanks is one, two, three, four. Um, two blanks that counts as one, five. Works. Okay, let's count this thing. Count, count without blanks numbers and for that you have to use the distinct count no blank so you put their numbers put it in here put it as a card and then it counts four which is exactly what we wanted to see the last time so he's counting one two three four and no blanks so it works for numbers it doesn't work for letters okay so 
I guess either they modify the documentation. I couldn't see anywhere in here that it said it does not work for text. So they, either they, you know, modify the documentation or then modify the function to make it work. But for now it doesn't work, so be aware of that. Hopefully they will fix it in the future. So this is over today. And uh, if it, I'm finished here, it means that finish, Friday is almost finishing and the weekend starts. So enjoy your weekend. I'll see you as always on Monday. Have a great weekend and bye-bye.